Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., and join with us. Hey folks, we're glad to be here tonight. Appreciate you tuning us in. We don't know where everybody's listening to that. Last night we had some people listen to us in South Africa and we got them in Canada. And folks, we appreciate wherever you may be that you are listening to our program. And I know somebody's been watching our program down in the big state of Mississippi, and we appreciate that. And regardless of where you're from, we're glad to have you on board tonight. Hey, uh, uh, you know, we better be getting prepared for the coming of God. God is soon a coming, and it's not going to be long. I watched a video today that somebody sent to me, and that video has had had people bowed down and tied up and and uh, facing the ground, and many of them, and they was getting shot and they was getting killed, and a lot of trouble has been going on in Afghanistan over, there. and folks, the Taliban has took over. And, let me, and and all the stuff that's going on here in the United States of America, we better be getting ready, and we better be getting packed up, and we better be getting ready not packed up, because we we're not going to take nothing with us when we leave here. And folks, we need to get ready to, for the coming of God. And hey, it just, I believe we're living in the very last days. Have you ever read Matthew 24? When he talked about the earthquakes are happening, we've had the earthquakes. When we talk about pestilence are happening and attacking our land, what do we call cobra now? Cobra now. That's a pestilence, and that's a thing that's going around big time. I just went to my doctor today. My family doctor, me and Linda did. And when we went to the family doctor, they didn't already make them plans for the month of November. How do we not know that the Lord's going to come? You say, what kind of plans are they making, Alan? Well, they, they, they said this. They, they said this. We, you may not have to come in November. We just call you up on the phone and do an interview with you. Well, I got to thinking. I do interviews on this program, by the way, a phone too, you know. A doctor tell me that they're going to do to just do an interview on the telephone in the month of November, three months away, and they tell you that. Folks, God said he would God God said in the last days pestilence will come. Kobe may be a pestilence. Nobody is willing. Everybody's in fear. They're scared to death. It's trembling just like this. And when God says, Fear not. And God said, Fear not. And that's what he said. But we feared and we scared and we nervous wrecked. You know why? Even the churches have got feared. And they'll call their church off. Still have church. Brother, would Alan Presley call his church off if he was pastor? No. If it just be me and my wife showed up, we would have church. And that's the way it's been. And that's the way it ought to be. But we become scared. Guys won't preach no more. They're afraid to preach. They're afraid they're going to lose their paycheck. They're going to lose their job. You're going to wind up losing your soul if you don't get ready to meet God. Pestilence. And God said this was going to happen. God said it's going to take place. 
And brother, we're here. And we all go around like a bunch of nervous pigs that's not ready to meet God. You know where them pigs belong? They all just got run into the depth of the sea and buried in the water. And folks, we're going to lose out if we don't stand for God. And I'm encouraging everyone out there to take their stand for God. Read Matthew 24 and see what's taking place. Read that whole chapter. Read it in many other places in God's Word. And that's what we ought to be doing. Have we, have we turned on God? Have we went back the other way? Now, what goes on in our land? It's all right to live in adultery. It's all right to go against the marriage vows. It's all right to live and shack up with a woman, have kids by them, never marry them. You know what that's doing? That's life and that God and life and in his face. Payday's coming, folks. Are we ready? Let's get on with some gospel music here tonight. And who we got coming up, Linda? It's Ken Cooley. Hey, we just got his music in here a couple of days ago. His name's Ken Cooley. And we need to pray for him, too, and pray for his family. We're going to listen to him sing this great song tonight. And here we go. Let's get started.
share button after our Facebook. Do listen to Facebook. Hit that share button. Let the world know that we're here to serve Jesus Christ and His Lord of God of all. Hit that share button. time here on this program and we've been heard on the WOTG TV network at Roll Q Television and you can very well find us on the television and you'll find us on YouTube but we got a young lady coming up and let me tell you a little bit about this young lady this young lady she she loves God and she loves the Lord she lives in another country and uh, not in our country, in another country that's far away. Alan Presley Promotions has got a package going to her that we mailed Monday. Yesterday, it got out of here and mailed Monday. We've been tracking it. And that package today is in my, was it this morning, in Miami, Florida. It's getting ready, I think, reason it's in Miami to go across the big pond. And if you don't know what a big pond is, look at the ocean. And I call it a big pond. And it's getting ready to go to big pond. Well, I had, we asked them, how long will it take for this person to get this package that Alan Presley Promotions is wanting to send? And they said, well, it'd take three days to get out of the United States. Then it'd probably take seven or eight days to get to where it's going. 
and I, and it was in Miami this morning, and it may be going across the big pond over there, you know, and I hope she gets it safe and sound because she's going to be very, very busy when she gets it. And I promise you that she's going to get, be busy. I just hope it gets our okay in one piece and one mind. But it, she's going to be very, very busy. Now, she's helped her program a lot. And she's helped her program. She's done things that no one else can do. For years, for we've known each other four or five years now, and she used to make posters. Man, she, we, she made all kinds of posters. We even helped a guy find a kidney. Probably saved his life, you know. And she done that. And, and, uh, and she's only got one song out, and we're going to play it here in a minute. But anyway, uh, and, and she's helped us locate people here in the United States uh, for a program and, and helped us out in a lot of ways. And folks, people like that need to be appreciated, and we do appreciate her, and we care for her. I'm going to go a step further. You know, uh, uh, Rick Lilly, that was our guest on our program, he walked back live. He brought Joshua Way Wilson with him. Joshua Way was deserted by his own dad, and I think his mother died, and he has to use crutches. He lost the eye after having 20 something operations. He lost his eye totally. But he sings and he's wrote some good, great songs. You know, we play some of his music here on this program. And and uh, Josh, Josh was being a, a real good person, and, and God has touched his life. You know, Elizabeth is Elizabeth Lawson. She's helped us a whole lot, and she and and she she and see what I'm saying. Josh Wilson calls Rick Lilly is dead. Well, Elizabeth been calling me and Linda, dad and mama, for four or five years, hasn't she, Linda? And, and uh, she's been calling us that for a long time, folks. And we appreciate Elizabeth doing that. And we don't care for doing that. Hey, I'm proud to have her on her program. And we ought to be proud of what I was, she's done for God in a strange land and a strange country. And folks, even today when she calls me, I talked to her today. She called me today on the phone. There's a lot of things I still can't understand when she talks to me. She get going about 90 miles an hour. I can't understand nothing. <laughs> and then folks, and, and, and uh, she'll tell me about it. And, and I'll tell her straightforward too. And that's the way we are with each other. We straightforward. We treat her, I treat her, me and Linda treat her as her daughter. Me and Linda treat her as a friend. We treat her as a Christian. Is Alan, she ever get you upset? Me and her being upset with each other, it's unreal. But we always go back, sharing the things that we love. We're going to listen to her sing this great song now. Here we go with Elizabeth Lawson. Here we go, folks. I reckon we're going with it.
Hotel in Tampa, Florida.
Ray Reed, off the Kingdom of Cortez, coming on next.
got Airline coming up next, and here they are. Airline.
is this what I see? You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Hey, we got the widows coming up right here.
mom. You got you got a minute? Yeah. Will you? I, I want to ask you a favor. Uh oh. I I want to do a promotion for Alan Presley on his radio on his radio program. Yeah. And I want I was wondering if you would help me with it. Well, I, I want you just to get out in a minute here when I'm done talking to you. I'll just say, I'll say, okay, Ma. And you say, you're listening. This is Betty Bailey. You're listening to Alan Presley Promotions on WOTG Radio in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Could you do that? Well, I gotta write that down. Okay, well, write it down. I'll wait here. Just say, you're listening. This is, just say, this is Betty Bailey. Just say, this is Betty Bailey from Owasso, Michigan, and you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions on WOTG Radio in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Make it sound really good for Alan. Okay, who's this? Uh, Betty Bailey. Now, come on, you got to sound like you're excited about it. Okay. From Owasso, Michigan. Listening to Alan Presley Promotions on WOTG Radio in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Listening to what is it? W O T G. O T G. O T G. O O T G. What? O T is in Terry. G is in Gordon. W O T G. Yes, in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Can you do that? Yeah, what do you want me to say? Just what I just did. That's all? Yeah. That's all I have to say? That's all you got to say, yeah. Okay, ready? Take one, now. Hello, this is Betty Bailey. You're a Whoops, never mind. Okay, uh, take, okay, start again. Take two. This is Betty Bailey. You are, never mind. I got it wrote down, though. Oh. Okay, I'll stop it. Okay. Okay, ready? Take three. This is Betty Bailey from Owasso, Michigan. You are listening to W-O-T-G, Alan Presley in Sweetwater, Tennessee. There you go. Yay! Give yourself a hand. That's it? That's it. Thank you. I think you've done a good job. cooperation. At the end she said, I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, we gotta love our moms. Hey, we got more forces coming on.
folks, that was Squire Parson. You know, we sent out prayer requests here a while back to pray for Virgil Parson. That was Tom's older, I mean, that was Squire Parson's older brother. He's got another brother named Tom Parson, and that's his younger brother. And, you know, and God, God has rose Virgil back up again, and he's, he's back on Facebook, and we see him on Facebook quite often. And God answered prayers, and Virgil, Virgil, Virgil is a great tenor singer. And he's got one song that he really likes to sing. And Squire Parson had told me this here, here a while back, that he likes to sing that, and asked if I have that song. And I said, yeah, we got it. And we're going to listen right now. The Virgil Parson sang his song, and he loves to sing it. Listen to that voice that he's got. It's one of the Parsons. Take a listen. Wow. 
Alma Presley Promotions.
Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Hey folks, we're glad to be here tonight. We've had a good time on the program tonight, playing this great gospel music and if you're listening to us out there on Facebook, we hope you that you share a program the same way over on the YouTube. And when it comes up, you'll have copies of the TV copy. Help us share that and click on it and listen to it. We're glad to be here. Here's Lady Presley to bring to you the weather forecast for Sweetwater, Tennessee. Okay. It is now 944 here in Sweetwater, and it is 78 degrees and clear. So some of the areas got some rain today. I mean, they said it poured down. We didn't get the first drop. So I guess that was good because we got our yard mowed today. So anyway, uh Thanks, everyone, for joining in tonight. And uh, we need to remember Thomas in prayer. He's on his way to Jacksonville, Florida, to the Mayo Clinic uh, to see a doctor down there. And I guess they'll do testing or whatever. So just remember him in prayer. Back to you, Alan. Well, let's keep praying for Dennis Coker. He's got to come home, but... They say he's still got some pneumonia, and be praying for him and his family too. Okay, we're going to get started here tonight and play, finish the program out with some great songs. And we got Danny Funderburg coming up, and he used to be with the Cathedral Quartet and some of uh, the Mercy Way Quartet, and I don't know who all, but here he is, Danny Funderburg. I too was 
Here's a Dixie Melody boy. He's come across for a long time, entitled The Twinkling of His Eye. Listen.
songs identified with the Franklin Brothers Quartet in hopes it will bring back many fond memories. So sit back and enjoy the music our family has sung for over 60 years. tuning in with us here tonight and playing this great gospel music good lord willing and the creek don't rise we'll be back tomorrow night on thursday night to bring some more great gospel music the most important music in the world is this great gospel music appreciate you tuning us in if you hadn't a charter program we asked you would you please share a program that others may hear it and then when our YouTube comes up, click on hit and listen to some of it too. And we're going to get out here and say good night. God bless you. And we hope to see you again tomorrow night. Pray for all them people that's over in Afghanistan that's going through torture and a lot of other parts of the country, the same thing, South Africa. We have people that's sending us videos and showing us what's going on, folks. And people that we know in those countries is doing that. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Our country is headed the same way if we don't repent and turn back to God. We're going to get out of here and say good night. God bless you. And we hope to see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night.